Good evening. This is the video newsletter for BuySellShort.com for Thursday, October 16th. Uh, huge reversal in the market today. Uh, yet again, we t looks like we tagged another nice bottom. We sent out a trading alert this morning to pick up some uh, DIA calls and some QQQQ calls when the market was down about 300. We did the same on Friday, had huge gains. At the close, our DIA calls uh, from the lows were up 165%. Our QQQQ calls were up about 40%. Uh, can't argue with that. We ended up 400 points on the day. We've got a nice tail here on the daily chart. It looks like we've got a possible double bottom in the Dow. Um, what we need to see right now is today's lows hold. If today's lows don't hold in the next few days, then you know, this 7,800 low isn't going to hold. We're going to the September 11th lows. But I believe we saw a double bottom today, and we should continue up to the 9,250 to 9,500 area on the down near term. Great reversal. We had decent earnings in after hours. Google's up about $40 a share. A few other stocks reported earnings. Markets reacting positively. If we flip to the 15 minute chart it's not a whole lot of help but as you can see over the last several weeks the 200 day moving average on the 15 minute time frame has acted as pretty strong resistance for the Dow we closed right below this level this morning if we're able to see a close above 9,000 tomorrow that would be a significant positive for the Dow also uh, let's flip over to the QQQ, the NASDAQ uh, 100 uh, chart. Nice tail on this today. Volume, almost 500 million shares on the cubes today. Reason that's significant, when we had that monster rally the other day, volume was decent but not, you know, overwhelming. Today's volume, a lot more. The, the gains were a lot more subdued, but we have a volume confirmation as well now for this possible double bottom. Near-term move here, I would be expecting a move to 34 to 35 on the Qs. Our favorite play on this, of course, is the SMH Semiconductor Holders. Nice tail on this one today. We actually closed green on the day, which is a great positive. Uh, bounce target on this one would be a move back to the 22s, and that's a 10% upside we're looking on this one. Just like it has been over the last few days, RSI is in the basement. We've got uh, stochastics, rock bottom, on bounce volume. We had a little uptick today, but uh, my opinion is techs should lead us back. Google's a pretty good indication in after hours, and if tech's going to lead us back, SMH should provide a lot of leadership as well. Intel had decent earnings. Uh, the warning wasn't as bad as the market expected. It's just, uh, you know, tissy fit by the analysts. They've all thrown in the towel now on tech stocks, which usually happens at bottoms, as we've said many, many times. A couple of ways to play it. FNSR. This is an optical company. They've got a PE of four. They actually make money. They've been decimated over the last couple of months because... They had a convertible debt that they were paying off. That was paid off today. Well, actually, yesterday. There should be a PR on that. 20 million convert shorts on this one. Won't take much to pump it back up to the 95 to $1 area here with a pretty minimal downside at this stage on this one. Maybe stops at $0.65. Cents. Should really bounce back tomorrow if we have the follow-through, I think, on the market. Sirius, S-I-R-I, of course. Last rally, we saw this one move up over 50%, 36 cents to 57 cents. So, you know, 38 cents. Let's look for 50 cents on this one on a, on a scalp bounce back. We're not asking for much. Another analyst threw in the towel here yesterday, downgraded with a price target of 50 cents. Where were these monkeys back here in September when the stock was double the price? As usual, analysts come in after the fact. So the fact that these clowns have all downgraded the stock – the bottoms should be in or pretty damn close on a lot of these stocks. ELN, our old favorite, uh, held back pretty much today. In my opinion, it's because uh, the option crooks want this one to stay pretty close to 750 strike. Options expiration tomorrow, they should let this one go. If we have a continuation rally on the market, once this one gets over $9, it really should make a pretty fast move back to 10 
So if you're looking for a scalp on this one tomorrow, I'd look at any early morning dips under 850 for a, a scalp on this one with stops at today's low of 825. Uh, things look really good. Commodities uh, decimated again today. Gold was down 40 plus. Oil, $69 on oil, down uh, almost $80 a barrel from the July BS highs. Gasoline prices haven't come down like they should, but they will. And that's giving a nice added boost to uh, consumer pockets right now. So the commodity bubble burst just like we said it would. And uh, even with all the liquidity flowing around out there, the price of gold continues to go lower. LIBOR rate is starting to ease down. Uh, California was able to get a $5 billion bond sale today, which is another positive. The commercial paper market has not shrunk, which is yet another positive. So things are starting to line up pretty damn good for us near term. Uh, last note I'd say is uh, check out our the homepage. I've got a chart that we put together on Dow performance during... Uh, each party's presidential term, i.e. how the Dow does during Democratic presidencies and how it does during Republican presidencies. Uh, very informing, to say the least. So definitely go to the homepage and click on the link if you haven't already and check it out. And that's it for the video tonight. I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Good night.